Okay, we're back. And what we got today is a little unboxing. Get this out of the way. <clears throat> what I got for us today is the ESS-1, the engine sound system from Team Associate. Nice little box. <clears throat> At least we know it ain't going to be very big, so it'll pretty much fit in everything. Let's open this thing up here. Cut my daggone self. Some instructions in here. Oh, them things are in there. Alright, well we got some 3M tape, which I'm probably not going to use. I got quite a few rigs, so I'm probably attach this with um, some Velcro. Looks like we got an adapter plug, so you'll plug it into your battery. And then plug your truck into this side. And I'm not really sure what this is. It might be some kind of grounding magnet. Or something like that. Comes with a little Y cable. And the little adapter, I guess, that plugs into the... Uh, into your computer where you can download the sounds. And then we got the unit itself. I'm really liking this because it's so small. As you can see, there isn't a whole lot to it. <clears throat> Which is real nice. There isn't a whole lot to put in the truck that way. Alright, well let's see. I'm sure I got a receiver here. We'll use this one because it's bound to this receiver. And we'll glance this over to make sure we don't do nothing stupid. Alright, we are going to need a little battery since I won't be using an ESC. And this thing says the Supply voltage range is from 5 to 26 volts. So this is a 6 volt, so this should be more than sufficient. And this would plug into number 2. <coughs> plug this up. And we'll put it in a battery. Turn this on. I'm pretty sure this comes with the default sound so we'll see what it sounds like. Sounds like nothing. <laughs> okay let me see what I gotta do first. Alright well give me a second to read this because might, I might have to hit something to actually turn it on the first time. And I'll be right back. Okay we're back. It was actually okay, just my throttle wasn't in the right position. So basically you just tap the throttle. That's got a good sound. Then they say if you leave it alone for a second, it'll shut off. I think it's defaulted at like 10 seconds or so. There you go. Well, that's a pretty cool sound that it came with. But we're going to go uh, plug this thing up into the computer and see what it all, all the different sounds we can get. Maybe I'll just take the camera in there so you can see what it looks like. But I just got to hit this thing one more time.
That's pretty loud too. Oh, that wasn't even all the way up. Alright, well, we'll let her shut off. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, well, let me take this in the house and, uh, download the uh, program and everything and then I'll let you take a little look at it and I'll kind of tell you how easy it was to get to and everything so I'll be right back okay we're back and this is a little hard to do because of the screen and everything this is the sound I went for and as you can see it's diesel tractor trailer also did a brake which I'm probably going to change that you don't really hear it and then a turbo sound now the hard thing to do on this was to get everything set up the way you wanted I got the brake on maybe that was my problem I was going to say I didn't really hear it and the idles on the turbo effects now the shifting I did that was a pain in the butt and I didn't like it so I'm gonna make that go away I don't not sure if you can see this very well now as far as the equipment goes I love it Now they do have an English version in here but you get into register and everything else and it'll go Chinese on you and uh, see there so you don't really know what it's saying but uh... you got battery alarms tells you what lipo you're putting it on a lipo a two cell you can change that put a low voltage cut off alarm on there and then it gives you a couple other things to check um, now like i said this one here is mine and i haven't quite figured out if i'd like that break i think i'm just gonna get rid of that all together if I can well I don't know we might have to reset it to factory resettings but uh, once you get a register it's real easy you just plug the equipment you see here right into your computer and then uh, you pick your sounds. You go up. Um, what you would do is you hit change, and then hit online resources. And then here's all your sounds. Uh, most of them are free. There's a couple of them that cost two dollars, which is no big deal. But I mean, and you got all kinds of on-road cars. Here's your off-road. Mostly short trucks. That's the buggy. Short trucks, truck. So you got rev limiters and stuff on there. Also got crawlers. These two over here you got to pay two dollars for. These two were free. Not too bad. Like I said, I like the, the diesel sound. That was the only diesel I found. And you can even, I haven't quite figured out how, but you can install horns. You can install sirens, ambulance siren. But I don't know how to activate any of that yet. I'm going to have to do a little more research on that. But uh, And you click on to the name of your thing, so... So that's what I went for. 
All right, so once the registration of it's a pain, but once you get through that, it gets real easy. Just make sure you write down everything that you, your passwords and everything else, and uh, then they're going to want to email you and give you a thing to turn it on. Once you've done that, it's no big deal, but it doesn't always tell you what it's doing. So just take your time with that. All right, well, give me this just a second. I'll hook this back up, and I'll show you the sound I got. Okay, well, this is the sound I've come up with. Like I said, I like the diesel truck. And I did find out you can't hear the turbo unless you have the shift on. So I might go back and turn that on. Kind of like the diesel sound when it's idling. But I might download the the crawler one time just to hear it. So let me do that, and I'll be right back. This only takes a second. Okay. Well, this is what I'm going to go with for now. I can always change it later. I do like the diesel sound the best. So to start up, and I put the shifting on so you can hear what it sounds like. Let it go and it gets the, you hear the turbo kick. Alright, well, that's it for right now. And I'll get her on one of my rigs here soon and I'll let you hear the thing from there. And we'll turn her up out inside. Oh, that's good. Alright, well until next time, please like, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Until next time, bye.